some kind of Optimus Prime clone? Hello and welcome once more to Diagnostic 80's Reviews with me, Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, obviously. On this edition of your favourite Transformers YouTube Reviews channel, oh, okay, second favourite, oh, okay, so you're only watching this because you ran out of videos from all the other YouTube reviewers and you've literally seen every fail video compilation ever at this point, fine. On this video, I will be looking at this Takara Tomy reissue of Transformers Masterpiece MP10B Black Convoy, or as we know him, Nemesis Prime, brought to you by In Demand Toys. For startsies, let's get deep and grundly with this guy's history. Do you know what Nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Personified in this case by an honourable Prime. Me. First off, I must make sure I don't fall for the obvious pitfalls by mentioning Black Box, Back in Black, Paint It Black, Black Beauty, Black Swan, Men in Black 1, Men in Black 2, Men in Black 3, or the 1978 movie Convoy. It would seem that a lot of properties have used bad guy doppelgangers of the main good guy over the years. It was an interesting idea when it first appeared many years ago, and has almost become a cliché to this point. Superman has had to deal with numerous bad versions of himself. He-Man had Faker, Flash had Reverse Flash, Wonder Woman had an evil robot version and so on. This plot device usually brings both versions of the character together so that the audience can see the cataclysmic conflict between the absolutes. It provides the good version of the character with a vision of what they can become, if not careful, and in most cases the two are equals in strength and intelligence, which does usually lead to good prevailing due to the exact reasons you fully expect the bad version to win empathy and compassion and so on. So it would go without saying that a brand as rich and extensive as the Transformers would have its own evil clone story, if not for any other reason but to create more options for redecoing the toys. In most iterations, Nemesis Prime is an evil clone of Optimus Prime that, depending on what version of history you follow, was created by Dr. Arkaville, Straxus, and even Unicron in some cases. Even though we don't really get a Nemesis Prime by name until the early 2000s, the first US Marvel comic does show a darker repaint of Optimus Prime leading the Decepticon attack on the Ark in one of the panels. You can also clearly see regular Prime in the same panel too, so it's an odd anomaly. There have been a ton of Convoy and Prime black versions, but they aren't considered Nemesis Primes as such, just a sexy repaint, yeah? While we are here, let's also not get confused with Scourge from the Robots in Disguise cartoon and toy line that popped up in 2001, as he was also an evil Prime clone, not to be confused with an evil Pine cone, and started the whole Black Deco thing that all subsequent naughty Primes donned from then on. Here's footage of him anyway. The first instance of Nemesis Prime officially appears in the Armada cartoon and toy line the following year, or 2002 to those of you who weren't paying attention. I'm looking at you, everybody. The cartoon episode Puppet depicted him as a creation of Unicrons and a puppet of Sideways, Ziz, who was savage and feral in nature. He was destroyed when Prime and Megatron teamed up to blast him the f*** away. He appeared in the Transformers Legends of the Microns comic number 11 in 2004 that preceded that particular episode of the Armada cartoon, but within the same continuity. This version of the toy was released in 2003 with Runover, and was a redeco of the Supercon version of Armada Optimus Prime. He was released in Japan under the name Scourge and Sweep as an homage to that first Hasbro Scourge release in the early 2000s, as I flashed up during the whole Scourge fiasco. Here he is again for those of you not paying attention, everybody. In 2004, Beast Wars Neo Big Convoy got a dirty repainted and retooled version named, yes you guessed it, Tuscador, I mean Nemesis Prime, a dark clone of Optimus Prime and a herald of Unicron explained in the Cybertron comic, and Alternity and Transtech bio continuities. He got an upgrade, or downgrade in my opinion, I mean come on, he's a frickin' mammoth for goodness sake. 
that's incredible. So he got a downgrade in the Alternity toy line as Convoy Super Black in 2009, but he's here because it's effectively the same character. In 2006 we got a Nemesis Prime in the awesome Alternators toy line, a range of toys that had some of the most complex transformations of all time, and I'm including all the Masterpiece Megatrons in that. He was released as Black Convoy in the Japanese version of the Alternators, the Binaltech line in 2007. In the same year there was an IDW story that focused on Nova Prime, a once great soldier who rose up to become a Prime but thought Transformers were superior to all other life forms. After being sucked off into the dead universe, he was reborn as Nemesis Prime. Nova Prime got a toy thanks to the Transformers Collectors Club in 2015, but alas, no Nova Prime Nemesis Prime Prime yet. Prime. In 2008 we got the classic Optimus Prime Classics mould redecoed as Universe Nemesis Prime. Animated Optimus Prime Black version in 2010, a bot shot in a multi-pack with Megatron and Acid Storm in 2012, and in the same year we were introduced to a new version of the now infamous human created mech organisation clone Nemesis Prime in the originally 2010 released Transformers Prime cartoon. As mentioned, Mech were a company working against the US government led by Leland Bishop, aka Silas, in the Prime animated series. Nemesis Prime was operated remotely by a human pilot, could transform into a semi-rigged truck, didn't feel pain and had all the power and skills of Optimus Prime, with none of the moral stuff dragging him down, so he was a pretty efficient killing machine. He was eventually defeated by Prime when Silas was distracted from his control panel, leaving Nemesis to be smashed through the roof of the mech building by Prime, destroying everything. The toy was a redeco of AM01 Optimus Prime and was released in 2012, the same year that the Nemesis Prime episode of the cartoon came out. We got the masterpiece in 2013 and reissued again in 2017, which is what I will be looking at today. Going back to 2013, when we had a Creo and then re-released again in 2017, I feel like I just said that. Actually, going back to 2013 again for the loyal subjects, and a pretty spectacular Go Hunter Nemesis Prime toy, which was a redeco and retool of Prime Beast Hunter's Voyager class, Optimus Prime, naturally. In 2014 it's the turn of generations with a Legends class Nemesis Prime and Spinister figure, a Black Convoy pen, which was a simple redeco of the OP version, a Mecha Nations figure, and then in the same year Transformers Expo was held in Yokohama that produced an exclusive comic and a number of con exclusive toys including a Nemesis Prime. In the Transformers Expo campaign comic and a story titled Yokohama Decepticon Secret Base, Nemesis Prime was created by humans and doesn't actually link to any specific continuity due to the fact that it contained characters from G1, Beast Wars and the Age of Extinction live action movie. There was also a second Nemesis Prime in the story, one that shares the same deco as this Lost Age convoy from the EZ collection that we saw in the Optimus Prime video. It was also available at the Yokohama Transformers Expo. In the same year we got a Lost Age series Battle Attack Nemesis Prime, a Creo Decepticon Replicator Age of Extinction movie set Nemesis Prime, even though he doesn't appear in the film, and finally in 2015, a Q Transformer Nemesis Prime. 2015 also gave us a different backstory and toy for the character with Adventure Nemesis Prime, this time a redeco of Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Optimus Prime, and in 2016, a redeco of Warrior Class Power Surge Optimus Prime. This particular backstory had him as a duplicate of Primes created by Bloody Knockout. Bloody Knockout and under the control of Lockdown. He gets a Bear Brick in 2015 and a D-Style, sounds like a type of intercourse, a Bit Fig in 2017, and this is a bit of a mess, but the most recent use of the Nemesis Prime name was in the Michael Bay w**k fest of a movie, The Last Jedi. I mean Knight. Yeah, Knight of the Last Jedi. One Night in Cybertron or whatever. Anyway, Standard Prime crash lands on Cybertron after floating about for ages and meets his alleged creator, Quintessa, who brainwashes him and renames him Nemesis Prime. He goes all bad guy and eventually snaps out of it at the last second just in time to whatever, I don't even care, it was such a huge mess, I don't even know who or where I am anymore. So technically, we get a bunch of Nemesis Prime toys as well, but not really as they're all Optimus Prime toys, but you get what I mean. There were a few darker deco toys like Allspark, Tech Shadow Spark, Optimus Prime, and Leader Class Shadow Spark, Optimus Prime, and there are also two upcoming releases, Leader Nemesis Prime and Dark Optimus Prime. So back to the whole reason we are here in the first place, full frontal nude, I mean Masterpiece Black Convoy aka Nemesis Prime, let's get in that box. 
Black Bot on a Black Box. I promise I won't play Ride on Time again. Couldn't help myself. He's having a scrap with OP, and here are all the features laid out. Of course, he's exactly the same as Prime, so a lot of this will just be showing him off and looking at his pretty colours. Slide it all out after a faff with the tape, and we have his accessories. A red Energon axe like Prime's orange one from the G1 cartoon, his fold-up and spring-action blaster, again the exact same as MP10's, his Evil Dead Matrix, not like the Evil Dead, that's different, this dead Matrix appeared in the Transformers Cybertron Revelations Part 3 comic as a corrupted Matrix from a defeated Optimus Prime and inserted with a portion of Unicron's dark essence before plopping it in the chest of a tortured Prime clone to top it off. Sort of like a shitty nugget on top of a sour shit cake wrapped in a blanket of shit. Universe Nemesis Prime got a toy version for himself in 2004, back to now, and there's also Black Convoy slash Nemesis Prime himself. Love this mould so much, it's why I have Ava, Shattered Glass and regular reissue Prime as well. Solid, beautifully articulated and full of features. I know it's just a repaint, but I love this look so much. Where Ava has the elegant and bright deco and Shattered Glass has a darker but still colourful design, this guy goes straight to the darkness. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. A shiny black body with that hellish glowing ominous red, the slight teal accents in certain areas, and the silver and chrome allow for more colour breaks overall, making this one of my favourite redecos in the entire MP line. Took me a while to get a prime, and then four come along at once, or technically over a number of years, but that's not as impressive sounding. Finally, there's his paperwork, Japanese Dead Matrix QR code, collector's card with some impressive numbers, of course he is a pine cone, I, I mean prime clone. And of course he has his instructions that I will still need to follow, even though I've transformed him back and forth a number of times now. Oh, and a cute history of Black Convoy on the back too. I really should just flash that up from now on, instead of going to all the trouble of researching and reading and shit. Let's do the whole Autobots trans out and roll form or whatever he says. Decepticons, transform! The truck mode is fire, so cool looking, much like Galvatron in Age of Extinction, said nobody ever. I feel as though the newer reissues of the mould have definitely improved in terms of parts locking into place and general articulation. He feels just the same as the previous Prime reissue, solid and robust, and you can open the front windows to get small humans in the cab because doors are for losers. He also doesn't come with a little human, nor a trailer, and certainly not an evil roller. I think that would be cool to have, an all black trailer so you could have an outlaw from Mask homage. Actually that's a custom that needs to happen, just need to buy another Prime, they're only cheap. Going back to robot mode and looking at his features, as mentioned previously, his blaster can be held by opening the hands and, wait, the finger has remained in position? It hasn't popped off to nestle into even the thinnest of shag pile? This is incredible. Have they honestly made the fingers stronger? This is such a win you have no idea. Every one of these guys has had a finger pop off just by looking at it, so this is monumental. The blaster folds up and stores away nicely in his back compartment, as was shown only a few weeks ago with MP10. You guys must be getting bored now. His matrix slots into his chest cavity once you've opened every conceivable direction flap door and window, so now he can darken their brightest hour or whatever. The battle axe slips on like so, and now he is ready to turbo chop some evil trees down. Overall he is gorgeous, the deco is good enough for me to justify another release and of course he first dropped in 2013 so it's not as if it's something brand new. The only reason I picked him up is because of my new fascination with this incredible mould that was born around the same time I grabbed that wonderful Ava Prime. It's great for those that didn't manage to get him the first time round and even though he's not ridiculously obscure it's still enough for me to be happy, old Captain Fringe player. It's a character that you think has been in more than he actually has and I think that is mainly due to the almost automatic black repaint of many different Optimus Prime figures across the board. I was surprised at the amount of Nemesis Prime related toys, but at the same time there have been so many black repaints of major characters, mainly due to how badass it looks, that they can get lost in a sea of darkness. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. 
So even though there isn't much new here, what we do have is a super cool redeco of a great base figure and a Nemesis Prime for the G1 crowd that isn't a Dodge Ram or a super deformed art toy. I just wish we could have had a full on trailer with Evil Roller and a small human figure like Dr. Arkaville or Old Snake. Either way, you need this in your life. Thank you for watching this video of Transformers Masterpiece MP10B Black Convoy. You can get one by visiting idtoys.co.uk and selecting a quantity of 10. I kid, 6 should do it. Don't forget to follow In Demand Toys on Facebook and Instagram and me of course at Diagnostic80 on Twitter and Instagram if you really must. In Demand will also be at a number of shows this year but if you really want to change things up drop into their store on the Reefham Road in Norwich. Just don't accept any candy off them, they are not to be trusted. I've been Chris McLeod and you could have been sure you already saw this video a few weeks ago.